Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, Technique and Partner here at Westfall. And today I'm doing a Craft CMS tutorial. And basically, I'm going to show you how to create a module in Craft CMS. So, if you guys don't know, right, a Craft CMS uh, module it, uh, expands the code uh, in Craft CMS and it allows you to. Uh, start inserting your own level of code. So you want to customize a bit of the application, then you will have to use a module for that. But uh, it's not so clear in the documentation on it. And I've spent about half a day actually figuring out um, how to do this. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it and at least get it to, to a point where it actually works. Okay. So another thing on this is that there are no ads and no uh, sponsorship on this video because I think it's a public service but if you think it's really calf uh, it's very useful uh, for you and you are worth your time actually doing this then please like and subscribe to my channel and smash the like button okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to I have a little application here for craft CMS and the first thing we're gonna do right is we're going to create a module okay so I'm just gonna close all these things so that it's nice and easy now what I'm gonna do is that we're just gonna go to that module itself alright so um, what we're gonna do let's create a module so I want you to go to modules right and I want you to create a new folder over here okay so we're gonna zoom up over here and in my forms create a new folder under modules okay so first things first create a module folder in uh, let's call it my form okay so you can see it over here create a my form folder just do that over here and inside that folder right I want you to create this class called module um, my module okay so I'm gonna zoom in there what it has is that namespace modules my form that's basically de defining it as uh, using a namespace and uses craft uh, not really necessary but just put it there just copy this entire thing it's very basic with the module inside there okay so you'll see one outside here that has all this bunch of stuff just ignore that um, uh, we're just gonna focus inside the folder itself okay and just leave this parent in this is very basic it's just setting up the whole thing the next thing you want to do right is let's create a new folder called controller and put my controller dot uh, PHP in there so create a controller inside the folder so create a controller inside the create a controller uh, file and this is what it looks like just call it my controller okay so the naming convention is always the module name my form so the module name is my form and then the controller and then finally if you want the action this is a very yi style uh, convention so if you can see it it's uh, the module slash controller action okay so you're kind of like drilling down into it so create this this code over here you can see uh, I don't want to get too much into the coding itself but you can just copy this like for like uh, namespace uh, using the craft controller using the e, uh, response you don't even need that actually and then this controller over here and then writing an action here with a response so that's PHP 7 plus that gets that and this okay so once you've done that the next thing you're gonna do right is that you have to register your module okay so what does register module mean it means that you have just have to let the application know it's there so you can do that very easily by just going to your um, going to your configuration going to the general config sorry the app configuration here and in the, here you would have probably see the original one over here and you're just gonna register this over here saying my form 
with the dash. So anytime you get the um, uh, camel case, they'll convert it into kebab case. Um, and then this going to the file, say modules my form, module class. Okay. So that means when you see this uh, module, go to this uh, class and execute it. So you'll see this actually going in there over here. Uh, sorry, going into the my form version of it and executing this. Okay. So once that's done, right, um, what I like to do, this is a little hack, right, where you want to test it. So to test it, that is working. Oops, sorry, not that. So you want to, let's test that the module is actually there and actually loaded. What you can do is go into the app area here. Okay, and then just bootstrap it. So when every time I think about bootstrap, I think about bootstrap um, CSS, but bootstrap just means load it uh, off the fly, like load it uh, like, like without anything else, load it first. I, I think that's the way to think about it. Let's call it, think of it as load this first. So don't care about it, just load this. And the way you can do this is you can go into your controller module and just do something like this, echo uh, my form. And what will happen, right, is that if you launch your application, everything will just, it will just run that. Okay, so you can see here on the top hand, on like that, if I just zoom in here, on the top here, really, really small, I know, you can see my form appearing down there. That means your module is actually loaded and ready to go. So that's really good, okay? But obviously you don't wanna bootstrap this every time, you know, you wanna use them separately. So what I would do, right, is let's take off the bootstrap. So that at least lets you know that your module is working. So now what we do is we're gonna go and create a front end tweak application um, code so that we can actually get to the page. So what I've done is I created a contact form here and uh, we can just zoom in there a little bit here for you to take a look at. Nothing too fancy about it. If you guys want the code, I will uh, include some of this for you to copy. If you don't need it, that's fine, you know. But the main idea is uh, you've got a application uh, that actually has some HTML. And just the main thing is that first you want to put the action here using action URL. And you can see the format module controller action. Remember, we talked about this uh, modular control action over here. And just add some of this stuff. And if you're doing a post, you better put the CSF uh, input that protects the post uh, and then make sure it's working. So once this is done, right, uh, you will, you'll be able to actually press a button uh, and actually have the page go there. So if you press the button, it'll go there. So what you do is let's fix our module. You don't want this anymore. Otherwise you'll get an error. So let's remove that. And what will happen is that you will get an error. Uh, if you haven't configured it correctly with the controller, let's just call this um, Findex, okay? <laughs> then uh, what will happen is when I click the button, it will give you this error down here that page is not found, okay? And it will ask you for this index over here. So this is the part that is very tricky. Okay, so once that's done, right? You click it, it's gonna work. But this is the part that really stuffed me up, right? So hack that is working, create the front end, and then allow uh, all usage, all access. No one talks about this and it really stopped me up like tons and tons and tons, right? It's because when you access this uh, system, the default is that they don't allow anonymous access. So you have to log in and, you know, have some account uh, or have control panel access forbidden. And you're like, what's going on? You know, why am I forbidden over there? So if you get HTTP error 403, 
uh, trying to get to your controller, it's probably that you don't have allow access, anonymous access. So what you want to do is you want to allow anonymous access by adding that in the controller. This is sort of um, like a E2 idea where you have to control the rules, but Croft has gone ahead and just added these things in. And I, I wish they had defined this a little bit more so that at least you can get to the code and start playing around with it. Okay, so once you've done that right and you've got this, you remove that. Hopefully, when you press that button, you're going to get. Uh, to that page and here you can see I've gone to the page and to just prove to you that it actually works I'm gonna write some stuff so uh, join okay some selfless uh, promotion down there <laughs> but come on guys it's free I'm not putting any ads in it I think this is a community service here and we just press the, su the submit button over here. Oh, can't do that. I need an email address. So uh, let's sub, sub at Lionel Tech. Okay. And you can see right up in the corner here, uh, everything is working there with um, uh, JSON return. So we can see the code. Basically what happens is I have a function called index which is where I went to uh, get the requests with get requests uh, data request get body params um, this is a much more standard way of doing API calls so I think they want you to do it like you're not supposed to build an application through this but I'm, I'm thinking that's one of the ideas and then I want to return it as JSON so that's what uh, basically I did over there Okay, so uh, that's what you want to achieve over here. I hope you can get that. Allow full access, uh, return a JSON, and check that it works. And this way, you have now access the module. Uh, you access the controller in the module, and then you, you can actually start working uh, and expanding uh, Craft CMS. So I hope you guys uh, found this very useful. Um, as I said, it's free. <laughs> like and subscribe, and that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.